guys, what's up, fellow? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what's in my makeup bag. I do a lot of like what's in my purses, what's in my backpack, and I've only ever done one what's in my makeup bag, and it was a couple months ago, maybe even longer, and it has fully changed. I've been on my makeup kick recently. I have been thoroughly enjoying buying new makeup, doing my makeup, getting ready, and it's just like a self-care moment. So I thought I would do an updated what's in my makeup bag. Everything that I talk about is linked down below. Uh, my dog is really like loving being in all my videos today. If you're new, this is Dolce. He was a puppy when I think he was on my channel last, and now he's literally 40 pounds. He's big, but he's like a big, small little boy. He's like kind of short. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it because I cannot wait to talk all things makeup. So my makeup bag is from Louis Vuitton. This is like not necessary, but this is just where mine's from. I like a lot of my toiletry bags to be from them because I feel like the quality is really good and I love Louis Vuitton. So the exact name of it and the exact item is gonna be on the screen and linked down below, but it is cute. It fits all my makeup and I always, always, always keep my makeup in here. I have like a drawer from Ikea that has like extra makeup. So whenever I wanna switch out my makeup, I'll go in there and I'll put it back in here. But this is like where I keep my daily stuff and it just always stays in here. Okay, so when you open the bag, you're gonna see another bag. Wow, amazing. This is from What Goes Around Comes Around. It's like a authenticated vintage seller online for vintage secondhand designer. And this is the Takashi Murakami Cosmetic Pouch. This is like the smaller one and I love this thing so much because I love Takashi Murakami and I love this iconic rainbow print. I like to keep all of my smaller makeup items in this bag because they don't get lost as much and it's like the first thing that I get out. So in here, I have a couple items. I have my current lip combo, which I'm gonna tell you guys. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown Lip Liner and the Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump in the shade White Peach. It is have my little lash curler that just fell this is from Shiseido better than sex mascara which I love and then my lower lash mascara which is the benefit roller lash honestly don't know why this little perfume is in here probably just because I traveled and I just stuck it in there I have my Kosas brow little gel stuff and then a Patrick Ta liner in the shade she's strong I do always keep two pair of tweezers and then I have some eyelash scissors in here from the Huda Beauty and Tweezer Man little set. I've had this for like three, four years, something like that. My iconic, 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 iconic brow pencil. I've been using this Benefit one literally since they came out with their brow line. And then my favorite black liner for my waterline is from Patrick Star. It's the one size black liner in the shade Bodacious Black. I recommend if you do have a makeup bag to get a smaller one to put in it with all your little like loose items so they're easier to find and they just don't get lost as much. Okay, now we can move on to like the really fun part which is what's inside. It's gonna be no order. I'm literally just gonna go through it and pick out stuff. So we've got my primer. I love this primer. It is great. It's the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And this is the Huda Beauty. It's the mini pound cake powder. I'm waiting on the big one to come back in stock on Sephora. But basically this mini one has like a little puff and you just like tip it over and then you like use it. It's kind of hard to use under your eyes just because of the corners of the cap, but I still get by using it. I bake with this powder I put under my eyes and it keeps me matte, but like not dry looking. I'm super obsessed with this powder. I love it. Okay, three items. This is the Chanel Less Beige Bronzer. This is the shade 395 Tan Deep Bronze. It's like the darker one. They used to only have the lighter one and then they finally came out the darker one and I got it and I love it. Obviously it smells really good. It smells like the ocean. I love this stuff. It's a really good like light bronzer to really like make your face look sun-kissed and glowy. It sets the face for like a powder bronzer. I used to be like obsessed and I still am. I still have it in my makeup bag with the Makeup by Mario Poppy Pink Blush and I love it. But there's been something about this Benefit Krista Blush that has just been like calling my name it is so pretty so pigmented and you guys it is scented it smells like candy land and like floral and like sweet it's so good i love the shade it looks really good on my skin tone and it lasts all day for me and i just like love benefits boxed little blushes and bronzers 
So for an all-over face powder, I don't use the Huda Beauty one. I just use that in my T-zone and under my eyes. But for the rest of my face, like on the outer parts, I use this Kosas Comfy Cloud Set Powder. I think that's what it's called. And it's just like super light. I use it with my Blinked Brushes Page Corn Brush. And I just like pat it all over my face. And then I'll go in with my powder items. Okay, so my foundation that I always use is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. I have it in the shade 5.6. This is an amazing foundation. It's expensive, but it lasts all day on me. I love that it's a stick and it just like glides onto your face. It is a really good coverage for me and you can manage how much you put on, which is really nice. And it glides really nicely when you apply this thing underneath. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. I love this stuff for this specifically. Not that this is dry or anything, but it just like makes this glide better. Of course, setting spray. I don't need to explain myself. I love the setting spray so much. I have a couple like little random items in here. This is the Chanel Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. This is a really pointless product. It doesn't do much, but I just like the pump and I like putting it on my face, but it's the shade Sun Kissed. I don't really notice a highlight. I just, I like it alone for the most part, just all over my face, almost like the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops, which I also have in my bag, but just maybe like a little lighter. This is my favorite contour. It is the Merit Beauty Bronzer. Um, it's called a Bronze Balm, but I use it as a contour. This is the shade S-E-I-N-E. -E. I don't know how to say that, but you just like twist it up, put it all over my face, and it blends super, super nicely. I've never had an issue with this stuff, and this color is really good if you have like an olive, medium skin tone like I do. Of course, the iconic Rare Beauty Blush. This is the shade Happy. It's my favorite shade. But like they do get like really messy like around the little like lip area. I think that's what you call it. I mean, I guess that's normal for the product to like leak out. But I do have a brand new one waiting for me to use it. So this one's about to go in the trash because it's literally almost out. This is the concealer that I use. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. Shade 4.5 and I like it a lot. It's a really good concealer. Love the doe foot. I love how it glides onto my under eyes, really healthy, really easy to blend out, and it's great. I used to be like a diehard fan of, it was another concealer. It was, oh, the Dior uh, Forever Concealer. That one's good, but that one had the worst packaging, you guys. Like every time you'd shut it, like all of it would like gush out and like it'd get all over all your makeup. Like it was not the vibe whatsoever. Bronzer and highlighter. So this is actually like a different thing for me because I didn't hear a lot of things about Lady Gaga's like makeup line, but I really like this bronzer. It's the House Labs Power Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Level 6. It's pretty dark, but it works really great on my face. I love this stuff. It is velvety. It feels good. It glides on really nicely, and it really does stick all day. I will say it does a lot better when you have the cream product underneath, but even without the cream product, it's like glowy, it stays, and it's really beautiful, and it's not muddy looking. I did tell you I kept this makeup by Mario Poppy Pink Blush because I love this one still, but she has been through the ringer. I've had her for a minute. This is another foundation that I use. It's Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. But this is the shade 5.9 and it is way too light for me. Like it does not look good on my skin right now. So I need to order a darker shade. These three brushes, this is my holy trinity. This is the hourglass brush. But I use this for my foundation and it blends out my foundation so well. I never thought I would go back to like makeup brushes for my foundation. But I don't know, something in me has changed and I love this thing so much. I also use this one for the concealer and it literally blends out so smooth and it never gives me lines or streaks or anything. It's amazing. And then I use this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Love this thing so, so much. It works really good on foundation, but I like to use this for my, pow uh, not powder, my, uh, see I was gonna say liquid, but that doesn't really make sense. So it'd be like my balm. I guess it does make them say liquid. My liquid blush and bronzer, I like to use this brush to like Tap it in, like blend it all out. I have this Bling Brushes brush. It's from the Starry Nights collection, F14. Use this for my bronzer. I have this Kosas lip oil, which I actually hate this stuff. It is like super gross and it like streaks on my lips. I don't know. I have this like Morphe brush. I've used this for years, you guys. It is my inner corner, my brow bone, and my nose highlight brush. Your girl has a face shaver. I'm Persian. 
I am hairy and my mustache grows back in like 0 0.02 seconds. Now, I really love this brush. You can get at Sephora. It's the Makeup by Mario F3. So I use this big side for my under eye setting powder, so like this. And then I use this small side for my highlight. So this is a really great brush and I love it. We're down to the last three things. This is the Papaya Beauty Blender. I don't know. It's just like the name Papaya. And I have a Sephora Collection sharpener for my eyeliner. And also some of my lip liners are not manual. You have to sharpen them. This is my attachment mirror. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this at an event a couple years ago. And it was a compact. So it had like another side to it. But I broke it. And this mirror, like if I don't have this to do my makeup, I genuinely feel like I can't do my makeup. I protect this mirror at all costs. Like it's, it's literally my attachment. It stays in this back pocket at all times. And I have had so many scared moments where I can't find it in my makeup bag and I get so sad because I don't know what could ever replace this small little mirror. It just means the world to me. I love it a lot to say the least. I really wanna do an updated makeup routine for you guys. So if you're willing to see that and willing to watch that, let me know because I would love to post that and get it up for you guys. There's been like a lot of changes with my makeup recently and I totally want you guys to know about it. All right, that is everything that is kept in my makeup bag. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. It's always a really fun one to film and everything that I talked about is obviously linked down below. My quote of the day is, the world needs whatever you have to offer. Sometimes you're feeling like you don't bring anything to this world, you don't bring anything to the people you're around, but that is so far from the truth. You are worth so much and there is so much value in you as a human. So never feel like you don't offer people anything good or anything positive or you don't like make an impact because you impact like more people than you could ever imagine and stay confident in that and stay true in that. I love you guys so much. You guys are the bestest people ever and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Mwah. Bye guys.